Widely regarded as man's best friend, dogs hold a special place in many people's hearts. It can seem impossible to put a price on those happy wagging tails, those cute little paws, and those little wet noses. However, for people who don't want to settle for less than the perfect pooch, you'd better be prepared to part with no small amount of cash. We'll show you the most expensive dog breeds in the world. Your dog may be able to fetch your newspaper and slippers, but can it press the subscribe button? Probably not, so go ahead and press it yourself. Saluki the Saluki can look rather distinguished, and it should, since it has the honor of being one of the oldest breeds of dog in the world. They can trace their lineage back to as early as 329 BC. Salukis have even been depicted on Egyptian tombs and were so valued that they were often mummified along with their royal or wealthy owners sort of a dubious honor, to be honest. They were bred to be sight hounds, meaning they use their keen eyesight to hunt prey. Their long legs allow them to quickly take down foxes, rabbits, and even gazelles. Salukis, like other sight hounds, work alone since no human could keep up with them. The Guinness Book of World Records claims that they are the fastest breed of dog and can run up to 42.8 miles per hour. Not only are they fast, but because their feet are heavily padded, they have a lot of stamina as well. They tend to be fiercely independent and can be aloof with strangers. Naturally, they need a lot of stimulation to prevent them from becoming bored, especially if you don't want them running off looking for gazelles. A Saluki pup can cost you around $2,500. Peruvian Inca Orchid we promise that this creature is actually a dog and not El Chupacabra. The Peruvian Inca orchid, also known as the Peruvian hairless dog, is one of the few species of hairless dogs in the world. There are different varieties and some do actually have fur, but in Peru, breeders prefer their pups to be completely fuzz-free. Although they have the word Inca right there in their name, these dogs actually predate the Incan culture and were depicted on moche pottery in 750 AD. But Incans did love these dogs as well and even believed that their urine and feces held healing powers. These dogs are known to be intelligent, but getting your owner to praise you instead of scold you for using the carpet as a toilet is pretty ingenious. It was also thought that their warmth could treat conditions such as respiratory infections and arthritis. These dogs were bred to be sight hounds like the Saluki, however they are generally friendly and affectionate with their families. They are quite lively and alert and often behave protectively towards family members, especially children. To get one of these unique looking dogs for your own, you are looking at spending about $3,000. But just think of all that money you will save on brushes. Azawak. While these dogs were bred to hunt, they generally spend their days guarding livestock in West Africa now. The Azawak is named for the Azawak Valley in West Africa, and they come from the South Sahara and the Sahel Zone. These thin, long-legged dogs resemble greyhounds or salukis, but they have a very distinct gait that appears to be almost feline. Their light, unique gait is a breed characteristic that truly makes them stand out from the pack. They are not quite as fast as the Saluki, but can reach speeds of up to 40 miles per hour. Unlike other African dog breeds, the Azawak is available to purchase in Canada and the United States, although you are not getting one for cheap. However, you do get a wide variety of color choices including red, blue fawn, and black. Of course, you'll still have to pay about $3,000 if you want your own, and you'll want to budget in some cash for a dog walker because these dogs need a lot of exercise. They also love their humans and other dogs and feel their best when they're part of a pack. Akita if you prefer cute and fluffy over long and lean, look no further than the Akita. This working breed comes from the mountainous northern region of Japan. There are actually two different types of Akita, the Japanese Akita or the Akita Inu and the American Akita. In the United States and Canada, these two strains are considered a single breed with differences in type, but in other countries they are considered different dogs. You might recognize one famous Akita, Hachiko, who captured all of our hearts when he kept a constant nine-year vigil at a train station, waiting for his master to come home. No, we're not crying, just a piece of dog fur in the eye. During World War II, American soldiers were so impressed with the Akita that they brought them back to the US. This is when the Japanese and American Akitas began to diverge. These dogs are notoriously loyal, however they can be quite stubborn and dominant so require a lot of training. An in-demand Akita can fetch up to $4,500 in price. 
Rottweiler. These dogs may be expensive, but the Rottweiler is a breed that isn't afraid of hard work. In addition to being used as police dogs, they are used as guide dogs, search and rescue dogs, and to pull carts in modern times. Historically, the Rottweiler was a herding breed and is actually thought to be one of the oldest herding dogs. However, their origin is not well documented. It's thought that the modern Rottweiler can trace its lineage back to dogs found in ancient Rome. They were eventually named after the German town Rottweil, where they drove cattle to market and protected livestock from bandits and predators. These dogs are natural guardians and are known to be protective of their families. Around people they know and love, however, they usually tend to act like lap dogs despite their size. If you want a high-quality Rottweiler from a reputable breeder, don't be surprised if you end up paying at least $2,500 or up to $6,000 depending on the bloodline. In addition, these dogs can have many health problems and are on the nationwide pet insurance's list of breeds with the highest insurance claims. So just make sure vet bills and pet health insurance is also in your budget. We know you love dogs, but how much do you actually know about them? One rare and expensive breed is the Pharaoh Hound, but recently DNA testing has revealed something very strange about these dogs. What is it? Keep watching to find out. Tibetan Mastiff Although early records of Tibetan Mastiffs weren't very well kept, we have learned some interesting facts about these dogs via science. A mitogenome study showed that the Tibetan Mastiff lineage diverged from gray wolves about 58,000 years ago. A similar study showed that these dogs are related to the Great Pyrenees, Bernese Mountain Dog, Rottweiler, and St. Bernard. In fact, it's likely that these large and fluffy breeds descended from the Tibetan Mastiff. They were bred to protect livestock from fearsome predators such as wolves, leopards, bears, and tigers. Today's Tibetan Mastiffs are still excellent guard dogs and like to keep an eye on their surroundings. Naturally, a dog that can take down a bear doesn't come cheap, and you can expect to spend around $2,000 for a high-quality puppy. However, there are many stories of people spending far more than that to get one with a special feature, such as the man who spent $2 million on a red Tibetan Mastiff puppy. Standing up to 33 inches tall and weighing up to 160 pounds when full grown, these dogs definitely aren't suited for apartment living. So make sure you have a big yard for your new pet. Don't worry, they'll protect it for you. Samoyed one of the things you might notice first about the Samoyed, once you get past all the fluff of course, is that they always appear to be smiling. While it may not quite be a million dollar smile, it's definitely an expensive one if you want one of these dogs for your own. These herding dogs take their name from the Samoyedic people of Siberia. They were bred to help herd reindeer and pull sleds. Obviously, their beautiful white fur helps keep them warm, but humans really love it as well. Some people even use it to knit with and claim it has a delightfully soft texture. It can also be used to create fishing lures. And that charming smile we mentioned? Well, it has a practical purpose as well. The upturned mouth ensures that they don't drool, which could form painful icicles in freezing weather. Samoyed puppies can sell for around $8,000, but of course you'll earn all that back easily once your dog sweater knitting business takes off. Just be sure to advertise that you're selling sweaters made out of dog fur and not sweaters to be worn by dogs. Love Chun while you've probably seen most of the dogs on our list already, here's one that you might not have seen in person. The Love Chun is so rare that there are fewer than a couple hundred new registrations of them worldwide per year. You probably won't see one walking down the street, but if you're a fan of art, you've probably seen one before. They're found in many old paintings, tapestries, and drawings dating back to the 16th century. Their exact origins are unknown, and while some people believe they came from Germany, others claim that they're from the Mediterranean. While the other dogs on our list were working, these dogs were enjoying being pampered by the wealthy elite. They're gregarious, playful, and intelligent, and make wonderful companions. They're known for their classic lion hairstyle, which involves shaving their hind legs and most of their tail. These little lions are so cute, it's easy to see why people have been charmed by them for centuries. As a huge bonus, they don't shed and are hypoallergenic. If you manage to find one, you can expect to pay up to $10,000 for the privilege of owning one. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is a little dog with a big name. These adorable Spaniels are wildly popular in many countries and make excellent family dogs. 
They're known for being friendly and affectionate and have long been companions to us humans. If you were a fan of Sex and the City, you probably realized that Charlotte's beloved dog, Elizabeth Taylor, was a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Although they're incredibly popular now, there was a time in which their population was incredibly small. During World War II, wartime hardships were hard for pets as well, and their population shrank to just six dogs. That's right, all of the Cavalier King Charles Spaniels you see today are descended from those six dogs. Because of this, these dogs can have a myriad of different health problems, ranging from ear infections to heart problems. In addition to mounting vet bills, don't forget the cost of the dog itself, which can be up to $14,000 depending on the quality of the dog. For that much money, the dog better be cute, and luckily for the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, it sure is. German Shepherd German Shepherds are dogs that aren't afraid to get their paws dirty. As their name implies, they were bred to herd sheep. Unlike many other dogs in this video, this breed doesn't have a very long history. Their origin only dates back to 1899. However, because of their incredible intelligence, strength, and trainability, they are very popular, and not just as pets. They're used for search and rescue, police work, disability assistance, and they're even in the military. In World War II, they were used to deliver messages in addition to providing protection. Currently, they're used to scout situations and warn soldiers of danger. Although these dogs can move quite nimbly for such large animals, when you're the criminal running from the police, these dogs might as well be Cerberus. But they're a lot more than brawn, these dogs have brains as well. They rank third behind Border Collies and Poodles as the most intelligent dog breed. High quality German Shepherd puppies can sell for $3,000, but if you want one pre-trained, that's going to be a bit extra, like about $20,000 extra. That's right, highly trained service dogs can cost about $23,000. It's hard to believe, but the pharaoh hound was shown to have no Egyptian ancestry when subjected to DNA testing. Scientists believe that they might have undergone so much mixing with other breeds that it's masked their true ancient origins. Another popular theory is that today's pharaoh hounds are actually recreated with different dogs to get the look of the dogs that once lived in ancient Egypt. It's a doggone mystery. Did your favorite pup make the list? We love hearing about dogs. After all, who doesn't? So be sure to tell us about your favorite dog in the comments below. Let us know what makes them truly priceless. Before you go, please don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to The Regist. See you next time.